today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect a PC to a Blackmagic switcher. I have here the Blackmagic ATEM Production Studio 4K. Now the Blackmagic ATEM Production Studio 4K accepts only one input resolution at a time. What it means is that if you have four cameras and you have set them to different different resolutions, they may not be able to work in the Blackmagic ATEM. So every device that is coming into the Blackmagic ATEM uh, switcher have to be the same resolutions. I have here two Canon cameras and then a PC. The Canon cameras are outputting at 1080p60. So what it means is that for me to be able to display 1080p60, I would have to set the ATEM to accept 1080p60. So my laptop too would have to come in at 1080p60 for the ATEM to be able to display that. Now, most laptops come in at I think 1080p or 1080i 50 or 60. You would have to find a way to change that, to change that. So one, you can either use a scaler a scaler. A scaler is just, we just take that resolution that is coming in from the PC and then change it to a specific resolution that you want. So in this case, 1080p 60. So I have here the Ocean Metris uh, HDMI converter. It's, it's a very cheap scaler, but there are other ones, they're very complicated ones that are also very good. This one does only 720p and then 1080p. So in case you need to output or scale something to about 1080i 50 or 60 or something else, then you need to get a different scaler other than this one. I'll recommend the decimator. You can check out the decimator later. I'll also leave links at the description on where to get any of these scalers to buy. So today we are going to attempt to connect the PC to this now the first if you can see from my uh, preview monitor I have my first camera connected here the second camera too is here and then I've connected my scaler already so all I have to do is that to set this the scaler to accept or to output 1080p 60 and I've done that already so I have to just connect my HDMI cable to the PC to see if we get a display so I connect it here wait for it let's see yes so you can see that my camera or my PC sorry my PC is being inputted here as camera 3 so now I'll be able to input or output anything at all I want on it so let me open easy worship easy worship and change my settings go and then let me see okay so you can see that I have the text displaying here properly. That's one easy way to do that. Now, using the scaler, what it means is that you have to spend an extra money. You have to spend money to buy this. The scalers are not cheap. Even this one, uh, which is slightly cheaper, will, will, will set you back at least about $100 or less or more. Uh -huh. But I'll leave links at the description on where to get them to buy even in GH. Okay, now the easiest way is to rather change the output resolution of the PC. So that means you first of all have to determine what your PC is outputting at. Then you attempt to change that. If you are not successful, then your only option will have to be is to get a scaler. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate that now how to change the output resolution of the PC. Now, if I connect the PC directly to the ATEM, so let me connect the PC directly to the ATEM without using the scaler and see if it works. So I've connected it, but I'm still not getting any display. My PC is outputting at a different resolution and uh, other than what I've set my ATEM to. My ATEM now is currently outputting at 1080p 60 so I have to find a way to change my PC's resolution to 1080p 60 before it will be able to display or connect to the ATEM so to do that uh, I'm going to switch to my PC now at the desktop go to display adapters and then I look for advanced display settings then now what I want to change is my second monitor like the dis second display monitor so display adapter properties for display 2 so I click on that and then I click on list all modes currently you see that the, this machine is displaying at 1080p 1080i when you see the uh, 29 frames that means it's, it's, it's at, uh, at 1080i so I, I need to change that to 1080p 60 so I have to look for the 60 so 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 true color 32 bits at 60 hertz I click on that and I click on OK and then I apply 
apply keep changes and then okay so you can see that because i've changed that now without using the scaler i've been able to change my uh, pc to output on the screen so i can now um, display whatever i want to do that there so i open my easy worship again easy worship i want to get my easy worship to display here so go and then go to secondary monitor okay yes so now my easy worship is displaying here now uh, with black magic you can also uh, apply what we call luma luma keys so that you can layer the test or use the easy worship as a lower third on it so to do that now let's open the black magic setup so i go to black magic and then now my the first camera which is okay let's look at the output the output is camera one is displaying the keyboard the keyboard behind me here camera two which is yeah i think this camera yes showing this and then camera three is displaying the text the text that's coming from easy worship now what i want to do is that i want to be able to put this same text on all the outputs okay so to do that i mean uh, the atm production studio software right now so i go to palettes click on palettes i click on upstream then i go to luma key now the settings we have the fill source and then the key source they are both set to black now but i want to change that to camera 3 because camera 3 is where i want to camera 3 is uh, easy worship where easy worship is so i click on that i go to where do i go to yes so i select camera 3 from here for the key uh, fill source and then the key source to i think to camera 3 that's it i'm done now for me to be sure it's working i just click on key so when i click on key i click on key i can see that the text has been displayed on it so if i go to on air okay so if i go to on air if i select camera one it has been displayed on it now if i take it off air it takes out so i can go back on air i switch to camera two and i still have the same text on it so in, in case you have to change to a scripture all you have to do is go back to easy worship go to the scripture find the scripture genesis chapter 1 verse 1 go live and it's it's it, it's on the screen remember to subscribe to this channel and then tap the bell icon to get notification for all our new uploads thank you i'll leave links at the description from where you can get any of these or all of these devices to buy thank you very much for watching god bless you